Burundi's President Everest Ndaishimiye was the first of several invited heads of state to jet into the country today, arriving aboard a Uganda Airlines flight from Bujumbura. Another is Somalia's Abdullahi Famaju, with several others expected in the coming hours. With several dignitaries jetting into the country, Kampala itself is under a heavy security cauldron with military and police patrols. <laughs> It is uncommon to see armored trucks on the streets. That deployment you see ongoing is not to either intimidate anyone, but it's entirely for purpose of being alert because there are others who have been drumming and the president will not be sworn in as expected. I want to caution and warn all those people who are trying to, who will try to disrupt the events or who will try to even interfere with activities right from the airport up to Kololo, that please take warn that that will not be accepted. The police air force also secured the skies. As security measures intensify in Entebbe, fuel stations have been banned from selling fuel to anyone in the Jerichans. Because we are not sure about the motive of the people who buy the, the very petrol they are, they are buying in containers. Meanwhile, it is a hub of activity at Kololo Airstrip as government concludes final touches for the presidential inauguration. Why public holiday we must as government, we took a position. It's a very, very important day in the history of our country. Why? Because we are the president takes an oath for the office of the president. Also, it also begins to mark the new term of office for the next five years. Ali Mivule, NTV.